सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी ब्लेंडर टू पॉइंट नाइन जीरो अपडेट्स एंड फीचर्स विच इज़ ऑफिशियली लॉन्च बाई ब्लेंडर फाउंडेशन एंड सम फीचर्स आर सो गुड सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हेयर आई ओपन अ ब्लेंडर सो हेयर यू कैन सी नाउ ब्लेंडर हैव देयर ओन प्रिमिटिवस सो फर्स्ट फीचर इज दैट new primitive options in the blender so here you can see here uh, i have a one extra icon of uh, the primitives so here is a blender basic primitives and if you guys are using the other 3d software so you know very well about it their software have some option where we can add easily their basic shapes and primitives so now blender have their own primitive sections and if you uh, see the uh, previous version so there is no option like that so here this is a 2.82 now i have a 2.90 so it's a huge updates so i'm just going to uh, show you how these are working so i'm just adding the cube so it's adding the cube like that if i will press the shift so it will be make a perfect square and uh, if i'm delete it and if i will just normally make the uh, cube it will be make the cube like that and uh, here we have a add cone so right now that cone uh, have there not their icon there is a showing a cube icon maybe it's under process that's why and maybe they will fix in the future but if i make the cone so it will be make the perfect cone so maybe that icon have some problem and same like with the cylinder also so we can make the cylinder like that and same the other uv sphere and uh, Ico sphere, same thing. We can uh, also add these things. Shift A, but now uh, Blender have their own uh, tool, so we can easily add the from the here. So that is the first features, and uh, there is a one uh, cool option. So I'll just go to here and click the Add Cube. So here you can see. So here is a origin axis. So right now, whatever I'm making, it's a uh, making from the Z axis. down to up so if i will change that to y so it will be make like that things like a y axis wherever our y axis it will be created like that and same thing i will change the x so it will be make the thing x axis like that so cool features i think it's a good thing and same thing is that here is a base and center so right now it's a origin by base so i think i should change the also like that so right now it's uh, making from the things from the base up to, uh, down to up so if I, if i will change the center so it will be created by the center like that yeah so that is the most important uh, things which is uh, blender uh, updated now now second thing is that shader nodes so if i will add one cube like that and i will be add the one material on it so right now here you can see in the older version i am just going to show you uh, in the older version all the options are all all the properties options are the uh, right hand side we can add the any kind of texture on it all the options are right side but in 2.90 these options are in the left hand shift the left hand we can uh, and these icon have some updates like that they have a uh, no uh, colors and right now they have uh, their own colors so it's uh, basically useful uh, to use the notes because that time we know very well about it uh, which shader uh, mix with home so means green it will be mix the uh, green shader like that so it it's help to also uh, create a shading and notes so third feature is statics so what is draws exactly so if i will make one cube here and uh, i will subdivide that cube like that so if i will go to the top here and here is a one option is the statics so whatever it showing the properties of that cube and these object so how many faces they have how many edges they have and what is they have 
so yeah it's a cool if you are if you are in a modding field so and if you're doing some gaming project so you always restricted to use the faces and other things so this is useful to you guys so if i will uh, duplicate that so it will be increasing the how many faces are they have so it's showing like that so it's useful for the modeling and other thing as well i'm going to off that and i'm going to uh, delete everything and i will add the one cube now so so fourth feature is that extrude features which is so useful and which is came a month before a month but uh, it's a important feature so i'm going to show you so i just add one cube and here i uh, subdivide that cube and i go to there so here is the option is extrude dissolve insert so what it does exactly so i'm just inserting one face uh, faces like that and uh, i will go to the extrude that face like that so it will be automatically uh, dissolve its edges and make the new one like that yeah it's a useful and uh, very handy to extruding these things we can also uh, do inside this shape like that means that is very useful features to doing modeling so right now i'm doing like that so it will be automatically uh, dissolve the spaces and make new shape like that so i like that tool also and uh, if you want to see that video i already make that video on it you can see i will put the link on the i button you can find that video from there so now you can see here is a new feature of the uh, cloth filter so here you can see how easily we can make the cloth without using any simulations we can create the very dynamic clouds and here is a three option is kind of one is gravity second is inflate and third is uh, expanded so which is good so here you can see very nicely walking without adding any simulations and just add the smooth and you can get the perfect shape of that uh, cloth without using any physics simulation next updates from the pose tool which is so good if you want to see your model in a a different pose and anything so you can do with that pose brush which is so useful there is a two kind of option is a ik and fk you can usually animate and rig your character and give the perfect pose with that these these brushes and this is super cool and you can see here how easily it's working and that is perfect i think this is good for uh, good tool for the sculptor which is love to do sculpting and which is uh, not good in the rigging but he want to do and give some pose to their model so he can very easy, very uh, and he can very easily give the pose of their models and structure so that is a cool update from the blender and the next update also from the post tool so you can scale your model like that very easily and you can create very cartoony shape of your model in a friction of second i think that is a huge update from the blender foundation which is good for a sculptor who love to do sculpting and uh, want to make your character like that and that is a cool update from the blender and uh, so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one and please if you have any queries if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment box because i love to read your comments comments and thanks for watching this video bye bye take care stay home